Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a PHP countdown to a specific date and or time. Um, I'm going to be using the 1st of January 2012 as an example. Um, so first off, if you open up Dreamweaver or a text editor, create your PHP tags and first off we need to create a target time. And this is basically just going to be the MK time function which is make time I'm going to have a zero seconds zero hours or um, sorry it's zero hours zero minutes uh, zero seconds uh, the month which we are going to have 01 the um, the day which is 01 and the year which is 2012 and um, for now we've got our tag time we need the current time and this is basically just uh, the time variable on its own um, so now we've got now we need to create a difference between them to see um, difference um, to see what the difference is between how many seconds there are in between each because the time variable works on um, seconds current time um, so now we've got that we need to see how many days if I just echo out the um, the difference here, refresh this page, you can see how we've got like fif 15 million seconds until 2012, um, and we don't want we don't just want that to happen. We want to know the days, the hours, uh, the minutes, etc. Um, so what we can do for that is create a variable called days and this is equal to the um, difference um, divided by how many um, seconds there are in a day. So to find out how many seconds there are in a day we can just open up, go up to Google and put um, one day to seconds and we get here is 86,400 so we can copy that into Dreamweaver here take away the space and there we have if I now echo out um, days we can now see how there is 175 point all uh, this days left till 2012 but obviously we don't want all the decimal places so what we can do is around um, this difference here we can type floor and put that in brackets and what floor does is basically just takes away any decimal point. So there we have it's 175 days um, till 2012. Um, and to validate this, um, actually I'll do that later on. Um, so for next we need to find out the um, the hours. So to do this, also use the floor uh, uh, function, and we can say the it's the difference divided by how many um one second sorry sorry about that um we need to find out how many uh, seconds there are in an hour so to do this we can just go to one one hour and we can see how we get 3600 we we'll just put that in there and the same for um minutes uh, the floor and difference divided by how many um, seconds that are in a minute so that's easy it's 60 uh, we can do that straight up and basically um, last is the seconds now basically um, you can put this in a floor but it doesn't really matter because you don't know really, because the original difference is how many seconds it is anyway, but um, we can put it in a sex variable, a seconds variable to um, keep things like user friendly and to know what we're doing with the code. Instead of putting all these days, hours, minutes, and then saying difference for seconds. Um, so basically, now what we can do is echo out to the user all this information, so we can put something like. Um, countdown to 1st of um, 
January 2012 and then we can also put in here if we would like UK time um, and then basically we can just echo out this um, to the user again put it on different lines so we know what we're working with um, hours then hours um, we can break that off there um, mins minutes break that off um, and seconds break that off right there um, ok so let's uh, save that and see what we get um, so there oops, we need a um, break after um, actually we'll put a paragraph break instead of a break um, so there we have UK time we have and we're not getting up days have we done days in there? nope ok so we forgot days 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 and um, break that off right there there we are, 175 days, 4000, you get the picture, and all that down to 2012. Um, now we can just make this a bit more um, user friendly, so we can just say put a um, inside the speech mark, we can just put a header on this, I'm just going to put a H2, um, and inside that one, um, H2, and if around here we can put, um, let's say, H3. And then around the end, we put it on the bottom there. H3. Um, it also needs to be forward slash on the ends. Save that out and we get something a little bit more like that. Okay, so now to um, validate this to make sure it's actually true. Um, if you go to Google and type in here, um, something like countdown to 1st of Jan 2012, um, Carl's first Carl's New Year 2012 in London. Um, as you can see, we get 175 days, which is what we have there. 175 days, um, 4214 hours, 4214. Um, the minutes 252844, 252844, and the seconds is going down on this one. But we would have to refresh the page to get the seconds to go down. So um, there you go. That's um, a simple countdown script. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.